Were you surprised at all by how much of a runaway that election was? I wasn't surprised. We were very confident um, that our community is, is happy with the progress that we are making and eager to see that progress continue forward. On election day, there wasn't any moment where you thought, you know, maybe this won't go my way. Uh, honestly, no. Jose Garza has made a name for himself among progressive Texas politicians, and like them, his platform is heavily focused on criminal justice reform. Many in Austin viewed election night on Tuesday as a test, whether or not Austin and Travis County will continue down the path of progressive overhauls in the courts, despite Texas' conservative pushback. I honestly don't spend a lot of time thinking about um, what the legislature is doing, um, and I certainly don't spend any time thinking about Elon Musk. Um, what I will say is that we have seen voters across the country and across the state of Texas um, speak out loudly and repeatedly about the need to see reform in our criminal justice system. Despite a well-funded campaign to oust him, Garza succeeded over his opponent, the more moderate Jeremy Silistine, by more than 30 points. That victory signals that Austin and Travis County aren't done with progressive candidates, even when they're up against a more moderate one. I think a lot of the criticisms of Garza more generally were about you know, his orientation as a progressive prosecutor and what that meant in terms of how he ran the office. But for most Austin area voters, who, you know, Travis County voters, honestly, who tend to vote overwhelmingly Democratic, that's really a, you know, a badge of honor. Within 24 hours of Garza's Democratic nomination, the Austin Police Association announced it would return to the negotiating table with the Austin city government on a police contract after nearly a year without one. APA President Michael Bullock told us Garza and his platform of law enforcement accountability didn't affect that decision to renegotiate. I think um, that bargaining in good faith with the city of Austin um, and respecting the will and wishes of the voters who have asked for increased oversight of the Austin Police Department through that bargaining process um, is an important step. Do you read into that at all as saying, you know, the police saw that they were going to have you likely for another four years and they decided this is effectively the best we're going to get? I honestly don't spend a ton of time thinking about the police association's intents. Garza still faces a Republican challenger in November, but Travis County's left-leaning voter base and Tuesday's result Signal Jose Garza and his progressive policies seem here to stay for the next four years. In Austin, Michael Atkinson, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.